I'm gonna remember that this is the place that I had the courage to stand up and get on a board and feel really comfortable. And I feel like this is the start of my journey to like surf more. This week gave me the courage to be able to have that like feeling that I can do this. I think understanding conceptually why some of the things I was doing um, weren't right and how they can be improved. I mean, that'll stick with me for sure. And I think that's something to take away. I was probably 10, 11 years old and grew up in town, but you know, half hour from the beach and it was the cool thing to do. I mean, I, uh, yeah, I just, I was obsessed with it. I lived in Southern California when I grew up. And so I just got interested in surfing. And so I surfed pretty much every weekend, um, just about everywhere between San Diego and Huntington Beach. And after about the second year of college, it got too busy, so I stopped surfing. So I didn't surf again for 45 years. So it had to start all over again. I had somebody in Baja, California push me into a wave. And then, um, when I was 35, I took a surf trip to El Salvador and I did like a little coaching session and caught my first like real wave and life changed. <laughs> I'll never forget it. I was on a 7-2 Egan single fin. I was in the water with my uncle Tom and uh, yeah, he, he explained to me what surfing was and how it worked and um, all I wanted to do was get another wave. A través de amigos y en las redes me enteré de Surf Simply y así fue que, buscando, quise venir a, a pasar unos días aquí con mis hijos porque me parecía que era un lugar que me iba a gustar. Empecé a surfear a los cuatro años en Brasil, Playa de Rosa. Fuimos con la familia y papá surfeaba antes, qué sé yo, y ahí me compró mi primera tabla. Y ahí en esa playa arranqué a, en la espuma a surfear. No lo hacía mucho, prefería estar en la playa, estar en casa, sin, hacer, sin tirar mal agua. Y en un momento empecé tipo, a hacer arrollado, me divertía un toque más. Pero después arranqué a pararme y lo empecé, lo seguí haciendo y me va gustando un poco más. I do a lot of yoga and my yoga teachers started talking about the the similarities between like being on the mat, on the yoga mat, and, and being on a wave. And so I was like, after five years of doing yoga and hearing these stories, I was like, I gotta try it. I gotta feel like one with the water, one with the wave. Every time I come here, I get to improve a little bit, you know, and it builds up and you end up surfing much better than even what you thought was possible. So it's like you're breaking those glass ceilings uh, by being consistent and coming over and repeating. I came two years ago, this is my third year consecutively, and I, as I've said in previous videos and other times, I'm, I'm a lifer, I'm done, I'm hooked, I'm forever, I, you know, as long as you guys are here, I'm here. I mean, I'll come once a year, I'd love to come twice a year, but I mean, you guys have, it's perfect. My reason for coming was my surfing had plateaued, I was finding excuses not to surf. Harry was my coach. Um, and we've essentially been working on breaking down everything I do and rebuilding it so that it was not horribly technically incorrect. As we then come around, we're looking at, at, at coming into this curve, yeah. we need to transition the weight into the back foot okay. to stop the rail from grabbing. I learned a lot and, uh, and the way that he taught it and I think and what he taught was, uh, was really helpful and, and really enjoyable. My coach was Jose. He's amazing, I love his energy. I'm just going to play a video and then you're going to tell me what are the things that she's doing right in order to link carving turns and maneuvers. Well, this is our topic of the day. Okay. Awesome job in getting out the bag, getting out of your comfort zone. One third happiness, one third frustration and one third learning. And so I, that sticks with me because definitely I'm the person that gets super frustrated and I'm like, all right, I'm done. 
And he's like, no, but you got to push through because if you're not frustrated, you're not learning something new. You're not challenging yourself. So remember that. So this week, Tia was my coach. She was absolutely incredible. If you held your pressure, you would probably land right into this section here. And that is an optimum place to start thinking about doing your first turn of your cutback. We worked on cutbacks. We worked on angling my takeoff. We worked on staying high. Um, and we worked on trusting my rail, which that all changed the game for me because I always was just worried about getting on the board, like popping up fast enough. Getting the angle, putting the rail in, looking and popping up and rowing in this direction so your weight never has to come back. It should always be in that front leg. I really loved the surf theory and the videos that you get to take home so then I can actually practice. I can like re-look at my wave and re-look at my notes from the coach and see, and then the visual of what to actually do. I think that's super, super helpful. It was cut up and digested so that it was so palatable that I believed that I could do it. Rue and everyone who have created this have been very intentional and created something very special and I would say heart-based, you know, very connection-based and it's a great thing to have to, you know, to have the luxury of spending time here. Look, I think, I, mean, I think the whole package was, was really well put together and was wonderful. I thought the people were great, like I really enjoyed getting to know. 11 other surfers. I, I got to enjoy meeting the coaches. Um, food was fantastic. The accommodation is, is comfortable. I mean, I felt like I was on vacation. That doesn't happen very often. Every meal was just a surprise and beautiful and delicious and full bodied and full portioned. La calidad del equipo que ustedes tienen aquí. Todo el equipo, desde eh, la gente de recepción, las chicas de, y los chicos de cocina, eh, bueno, los instructores y todo, el compromiso que tienen con que eh, los que estamos aquí la pasemos bien. What most surprises me of Surf Simply is the, the, the community within all the staff. Uh, there are more than like a group of people who work in a place. They're almost like family. Never seen a company that has like this uh, culture and these values. I think it's a very welcoming, very warm, very friendly place that where everybody's focused on um, both on the surfing and on on making sure that everything's done the right way. I, I couldn't have been more impressed. Everybody here has a smile on their face. Everybody here is so welcoming. Everybody here is, and it's not just about service. It's not just about the customer experience. It's genuinely who they are. And so it's a thread of just heart-focused, connection-based, from the fellow guests to every staff member, to the people that are the cleaning crew, to the guy that manages the pool, to the chefs and the kitchen staff, to the coaches, to Rue and the, the leadership team. I mean, everybody here is just so kind and wonderful to be around. It's an honor to be here.